In this segment of Why SRS Matters, we take a look at E-Area. Past segments reviewed other operating facilities across the site, but none of that would be possible without E-Area. The solid waste generated in these other operations must have a safe and environmentally responsible disposition path, and that's just the role that E-Area plays. in E area could quite easily stand for essential, receiving, storing, characterizing, final disposition. Every day, SRNS Solid Waste Management in E area is responsible for the safe disposal of nuclear and hazardous solid waste. It's an essential task that requires closely knit teamwork and a prime focus on safety. And. E area plays an essential role in helping make SRS and the nation a safer place to work and live. Many SRS facilities generate waste such as office trash, which is recycled or disposed in landfills. But some facilities also generate nuclear and hazardous waste as part of their operations. Day to day, as the facilities generate nuclear and hazardous waste, uh, that the solid portion of that waste comes to E area uh, to, to be managed, uh, potentially shipped to off-site for disposal, or in some cases, disposal here on-site. The primary waste streams handled in E-Area are TRU, or true waste, low-level waste, hazardous waste, and mixed waste. E-Area successfully manages and disposes over 5,000 cubic meters of these wastes each year. True waste is solid waste such as tools, clothing, and other items contaminated with trace amounts of plutonium. We still generate TRU waste here at Savannah River, although the quantities are much smaller than they used to be. We just finished an effort that a lot of people on site were involved in related to the cleaning up the legacy TRU waste here on site. That was waste that was generated between 1970 and 2009 here on Savannah River. We identified 5,000 cubic meters of that waste which we had to remediate and characterize, approve for shipping, and then ship off to the WIP site. Beginning in 2001, E-Area made over 1,600 true shipments, making SRS only the second large DOE site to remediate and compliantly package all its true waste. SRS also generates low-level waste, which is waste contaminated with small quantities of transuranic and other radionuclides such as uranium, tritium, and strontium. These wastes are generally disposed of in the E-Area Engineered Trenches, or slit trenches. We are currently in Engineered Trench number three, and it is the most cost-effective of about five or six different disposal facilities that we operate here in solid waste. Um, you can see that we can stack these containers nice and tight without having any wasted space, so it's the most economical disposal option that we prefer to use. As we get waste that has higher activity levels or higher dose rates, we have other disposal options in concrete vaults and other places so that we can uh, protect that from the environment based on the analysis that we have in place. E-Area also receives hazardous wastes, typically industrial chemicals regulated by the EPA and the state of South Carolina, as well as mixed waste, which is hazardous waste mixed with true or low-level waste. The hazardous mixed waste stored in the building you see behind me is uh, low-level radioactive waste and or hazardous wastes in the same containers. Typically, the generator will characterize the waste so that they can uh, document the characterization. We approve it for receipt over here into E-Area, into this building, and it's stored here until it is then uh, characterized for uh, off-site disposition at an off-site treatment and disposal facility. Even before wastes are received in E-Area, however, advanced work is done to ensure materials are handled properly and safely. The waste that we receive here starts from the generating facility, and we even pre-plan before we even receive the waste, we have a pre-plan meeting with the generator to make sure we understand what they're sending us and how it's going to be packaged to make sure it meets all our acceptance criteria. There's a profile developed on that waste, and we either, uh, where possible, we'll ship it directly to its disposal site from the generating facility, or we'll bring it here, temporarily store it while the shipping certification uh, documents are prepared, and then we'll, we'll ship that off-site, or in the case of low-level waste, we'll put it in our earthen trenches here in E-Area. 
Plan of the Day and Plan of the Week meetings are also held to help coordinate the proper receipt, handling, and disposition of wastes from across SRS and some Naval Reactor Research facilities off-site. You know, there are other locations that the Naval Nuclear Reactor Research sites can choose to send their low-level waste to, but right now we are their, their site of choice, and uh, it's a competitive business. Uh, as they D&D their facilities, low-level waste from their site is negotiated with them for a price and brought here and disposed of in our earthen trenches. Heavy equipment movements and nuclear and hazardous material handling are the hallmarks of operations in E-Area. E-Area employees know that a strong focus on safety and teamwork are vital for safe, effective operations every day. We got uh, RADCON, RPI, rigging operations, they're all working together to put to get, you know, to be able to safely disposition hazardous waste. E-Area matters because solid waste uh, enables the nuclear materials processing facilities such as KL or H areas to do their jobs and we take the wastes to disposition them properly. ERA matters because we play an essential role in the nuclear waste processing here at Savannah Riverside. Why is my job important? Well, you're able to um, be able to operate the crane safely and keep people from being injured. SRS matters because we've uh, done our vital part to help win the Cold War and now after the Cold War is over we've got a lot of cleanup and, and mission work still going on inside. Everywhere I've been, including the area, we work as a team. We treat each other as a team and as a family. SRS matters because we are truly making the site and, and the world safer. Safety. Teamwork. Disciplined operations, E-Area executes its essential role in nuclear waste management on behalf of SRS operating facilities and the nation. And in that process, it helps make the site and the nation a safer place to work and live today and tomorrow. So through its talented workforce, E-Area does provide the critical need for disposition of our operational waste. Just another reason why E-Area and SRS matters.